father! Pippin, my son, and Master Papashan besides. Forgive me, father. I should have been at Her Grace's side. Save your tears. The Sultana yet lives. You. It was I who arranged this gathering. And judging by your perplexed expressions, it would seem introductions are in order. I am Dulala, head of the Order of Noldthor, and member of the Syndicate. What you said about the Sultana, is it true? Is she alive? Young man, I understand you were with the Sultana when she drank from the poisoned goblet and collapsed. Would I be correct in assuming that you did not personally verify Her Grace's vital signs? Why ask when he's playing? You know the answer. Calm yourself, General, and let me finish. The truth is not as you imagine it. You are all victims of a most ingenious ruse. A ruse conceived to eliminate the threat posed by Teleggi Adeleggi. It is my belief that Teleggi plotted the Sultana's assassination alone, but that Lollarito caught wind of his plot and exploited it to his own ends. He sought to manipulate you into eliminating Teleggi for him, and you duly obliged. At one fell swoop, he removed his two foremost rivals, all the while remaining above suspicion. God strike me down for a fool. But the Sultana, how can it be that she lives? She lives because Lollarito willed it. Her own lady-in-waiting is but one of his many little birds. By her sleight of hand, the poison was switched for a less deadly draught before it could reach her mistress's lips. Some manner of sedative, perchance, of a potency sufficient to induce a slumber like unto death. Were I to guess, I would say her grace is being held somewhere, dreaming dreams of a brighter Uldar, even as we speak. Oh, none more. I will never forgive Lolorito for his part in this. Though Lolorito's hands are far from clean, they did pluck her grace from the jaws of death. That must count for something. And though one may call the man's methods into question, it cannot be denied that he knows the value of stability, to the very gill like as not. He craves power, tis true, but he has no desire to depose the Sultana. I had never taken sides in your feud with the monetarists, but it was not for want of concern for our nation's welfare. Indeed, it was out of the desire to see order restored that I furnished your Far Eastern friends with information and arranged this gathering. I hope you are ready to work, General, for there is much work to be done. Our first priority must be to bring matters back into balance. Lest you forget Her Grace's words, the true wealth of Uldar lies in the health, happiness, and hopes of her people. 
As for the more worldly kind of wealth, I am content to let Lollorito help himself to whatever Teleggi Adeleggi left behind. You, meanwhile, must do that which you alone can do. Rescue her grace and take your place at her side once more, for her sake and that of our nation.